Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this channel is for you. If you are interested in all things to do with budgeting, savings, cash envelope stuffing, I'm a single mum living my best life as much as I can without having to spend too much money. So we've got all those things going on as well. If you would like to join us, if you want to subscribe and be a part of this amazing, genuinely amazing community that we've got going on here, you are very, very welcome. And it is free, which is always my favourite price. And it would absolutely make my day because, oh guys, my, I had a thousand subscribers. I would have loved to have hit by Christmas. I can't see it happening, but, but let's just go for it. You know, go for it anyway. We'll get, get near it. We're definitely going to get near it. I can feel it. If you are a returning subscriber, then you already know how much I love you genuinely. Thank you so much for um, your gorgeous, gorgeous messages. I've taken the last week off. I just needed that bit of brain break, that bit of space. Um, I needed to be away from social media and all those things. So thank you for all your gorgeous messages. That's what I mean about this community. You are just, just legends. You just, I felt confident and comfortable enough to know that I could take some time off and you wouldn't hold it against me. Um, so thank you so much and I just needed to take that step back for a short while. That being said, um, I also wanted to, I felt like I couldn't put a video out until I cleared my backlog of Etsy orders because that had gone crazy busy. I had all my advent calendars to get out um, and I had all the other orders as well that I wanted to do. Um, I, I felt like it was wrong of me to take time out to film a video when all those people were waiting on orders, if that makes sense. I'm now clear and what a busy month like a serious a busy couple of weeks everything is now changing everything i am um, i wasn't showing which odds to do these videos um but you basically you're going to end up with a load of videos one after the other after the other after the other because i'm mindful these need to get out for you to make sense and so that we can continue to proceed with what we're doing with budgeting and everything else so today's video i have to tell you I bought a big purchase, like a huge purchase, <laughs> which means that the whole of my budget is now going to change. I bought a car. Oh yes, I did. I bought a car. I actually bought the car about 10 days ago, maybe two weeks now. Um, and obviously I've had my car saving envelope. Um, it means I've moved loads of money around and had to do different things. But I've been thinking about getting one for a long time. Um, and the the push, in, push really with it was my nan being so poorly and needing to get to see her so much uh, before she passed away. Um, so I couldn't be relying on public transport and the times and I felt it just wasn't convenient. And it was just a driving factor. Um, I hadn't actually driven for about two and a half years. I am... Um, I had a bad car crash two and a half years ago and I didn't want to drive again for a good, well, I didn't want to drive again. Um, and I got used to not having the balls and it just sort of felt the time of um, having COVID and wasn't going anywhere. So it wasn't a massive issue, but then it became an issue sort of thing. So, and it also meant that I was able to do this new tutoring where I'm doing two hours a day and getting back from my students. Um, so yeah, I got that. And so you're going to see the change I've had to make for that. It was surreal getting back in the car for those interested. Um, and again, I think it was my nan was like the driving force behind that. I was like, I need to do this. I need to get in the car for her. I wonder whether, I wonder whether I would have done it if she wasn't poorly. I don't know. Never know. Now will we? So, but at least it's done. And now it feels like I was never away. But yeah, it's made a massive impact. This month is obviously different because I've got my extra tutoring money as well. Um, yeah, everything's going to have to change. So I'm very excited. Let's get stuck in. We're going to close down November. We're going to have a look at December and where money's coming in from, how much I've got and everything else. So let's go. Okay, so at the end of each month, I like to go back through my weekly trackers 
um, and see where my money went. Um, I think that's important and useful for several reasons, uh, but mainly because then you can see where your money's gone and if there is um, a trend, if you like I'm spending too much in a certain area or I need to pull back or something like that, or if I realise I need to prioritise something else over something else. Um, it also means that I'm able to balance my money, make sure everything uh, that I thought I had, I had, and that I've spent, and so on and so forth. So these, um, just to let you know, the money is just my wage, okay? So I know I do, or have been doing, like a weekly Etsy stuffing. That's going to be separate. This is just looking at the money that I had to spend for the month, because Etsy money doesn't really, it's not... Not not real, but um, it's not what I'm looking at. It's not, that's something else, uh, and that tends to go in my sinking funds anyway. So this is what we've got. So last month was a really really lean month because I started paying for nursery. I didn't have a lot of money because of cancellations due to COVID and other things for tutoring. Um, so basically, I had one thousand eight hundred twenty five for the month, which equated to um six hundred sixty pound left over after all my bills. And I split that per week for four weeks, which was 165. Now, just to save time, I've already just gone through all of my trackers and populated the information. But just to show you, um, these never change. They stay the same, which was my monthly bills. And then I went through my fluid envelopes, um, worked out what I'd spent and put that into there. Um, looked at my challenges, my Christmas envelopes and my... Um, 25 day little single envelope as well put that one in and then looked at my sinking funds now I purposely didn't put a lot in my sinking funds over this month because I didn't have a lot and that's where the Etsy money would make it up that was my, my plan which it did so it really helped this month Um, I'll just quickly calculate these up for you so you can see my bills are 1165 they didn't change we knew that right at the beginning so for the, my fluid envelopes, the ones that I could dip in and out of, um, just do 80, add one more zero, add another 100. So 290 is what I spent on my fluid envelopes. Um, we're hoping to get around the 660 figure in total for these because that would take us up to the right balance. Um, that maybe there's a few pounds here they're missing or different because I put those in my coin saving jars as we go. And um, sinking funds that I did have, 140 plus 10 plus 40 plus 5 plus 50. I created this document before I realised I'd um, put my new laptop envelope on so that's why it's in there for now. I'll sort that out later. And debt repayment came out of my sinking funds this month. So just to tally these up. Okay, so I can already see it's going to be a few pounds down. Not a lot. We've got 290. Add 245. Add 116. 651. And I wanted to get 660, so I'm happy with that. Brill. Uh, that would have gone in my my coin saving jars okay let's have a look then at december it's so different right so uh this is my new december style uh tracker with the, the candy canes and pink on there because why not um so i've taken store off there because we now do that separately but this month um as i mentioned i got asked to do some sort of consultancy work basically just two hours a day for about five weeks and then take it from there and it's paying quite well and that's on top of my tutoring so i'm actually getting for this month 1825 pounds for my tutoring and then i've got some credits coming in 1825 Alex's nursery is more this month because um, I've had to put him in nursery a bit more. But it's on like a buy one get one free deal. They do um, certain every so often they'll send out a, a text. You can get it for one afternoon when you buy one. So it's not as bad as it could be. But it's still 
quite high, 520. And I've also started taking Alexander to football last night and um, Holly does like drama thing. So the total for clubs this month for those is 50, six pounds and I pay those on the first. The car is also on the first and uh, I send it out on the first anyway. So that's my new, my new changes. The total then, let's have a look. My total income from this month is two eight five zero, which is great. It is great. Um, so these numbers aren't going to change. Um, I just need to total them up. So the total is. I should put a little total box there. Would help to. One, four, five, three. So I'm going to take my complete income for the month, subtract one, four, five, three, and that leaves me with one, three, nine, seven, and I'm going to divide that by four, which gives me 349.25 per week. Uh, just for safer, I'm just going to round it to 350, and I'll take the change from somewhere else. <laughs> Not too bothered about that. So. which is like almost double, is it? More than double what I had last month, which is pretty crazy. Um, so I'm gonna throw some money at some bills and things like that whilst I can. Now, I just need to decide where my money's gonna go, but that's not for today's video, that's for tomorrow's. I now want to have a look at how I'm going to get that out of the bank. So I'm gonna take out I'm actually going to do it different this week. I normally take out all my money and then go and put some money back in. I'm just going to take out the, I'll well, basically run around 1,300, 1, 1,340. Yeah, that's right, 1,340. I'm like, where? Um, it's what I'm going to take out the bank rather than taking this out and then putting it back in. It just seems a bit daft. So I can work out how many I want to take out of that. So if I want to take out um, a thousand pounds in twenties. So I know what I need. £1,000. So that means I need 50 of these. And I will take out £300 in tens. So I know that's 30. And then the rest I'll take out £100 in fives. So if you want to make sure, £100. Divided by five to work out how many that you need. I'm not bothered about 50 pound notes this month, uh, and you'll see why when it comes to it. So I've got 1,400 pound, and I can just give this to the bank teller, and yeah, <laughs> hopefully, I'll get what I want. <sighs> Welcome to December. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got to the end of this video, I would honestly appreciate it if you could give this a like, a comment, a thumbs up. All those things that help push this video up the algorithm or whatever it does uh, because I honestly honestly appreciate it you are amazing I will see you it'll be tomorrow for another video because like I said I've got such a backlog of everything I want to do and I'm excited to do them and I'm in a good place to do those right now so yeah I will see you tomorrow bye